I'm joined now by Drs. Graham McMahon and Ann Danoff. We're going to be talking about the Fellows Training Series, and this is just a great resource. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, so this is uh, the first initiative of a major collaboration between the Association of Program Directors in Endocrine and the Endocrine Society, essentially recognizing the Endocrine Society's role and responsibility in supporting endocrine educators and education for our fellows. And it's, it's the start of a longer term project of building curricular materials, of building resources to support program directors and educators across the endocrine spectrum. Um, to support uh, our assessment, our training, our resources available for fellows. And this is the first component of that, and I think a really exciting component. Of yeah, it. so we, we decided to start with uh, focusing on procedural competency. And so there are several procedures that are really critically important for people in training to develop competency in before they graduate, before they finish their fellowship training. And those procedures include ultrasound guided fine needle aspiration, um, evaluation of insulin, use of insulin pumps and uh, continuous glucose monitoring, and uh, interpretation of DEXA bone density studies. And so we've elected to focus on that and we're currently in the process of working with groups of experts in each of those areas to develop materials that will then be available for program directors to use to help assess whether their trainees have acquired appropriate levels of competency. Well, such crucial information for education and really even continuing education, I think. How does it work exactly? So the, the way in which we've constructed it will mean that we've uh, started to narrow down approximately 20 key findings in each of these uh, domains and we'll present those in some uh, case vignettes with appropriate imaging and video to allow the fellow to to attempt to try and interpret the findings whether it's a thyroid nodule or a DEXA scan and to write their own report about what they think uh, it represents and then provide essentially the answer sheet uh, to our program director colleagues who can then review that material with the fellow and determine if they've reached level of competency or need additional training before they uh, take the assessment again. And by covering the broad domains in each of these areas, we'll be able to essentially align the fellows according to the milestones of fellowship training that have been established by APDEM uh, in, co in collaboration with ACGMA. How much do you think it's enhancing the typical training that people would get? We think it's critically important because each, um, each medical center that trains people has variable levels of expertise. So what we're hoping to do, and this is the, just the first of many, many more products that we hope to be able to develop, um, it, it really levels the playing field. It provides uh, real world-class experts you know, pr presenting this kind of material. So we think it's really critically important. And again, it is just the tip of the iceberg because we look forward to being able to develop many, many, many more types of materials along these lines, in particular focusing on areas of rare diseases that people across the country or across the world actually might not have access to in their individual institutions. Any other areas, hints of where it might expand? Yeah, a couple of the things that we're working on are uh, video demonstrations of physical examination findings, for example, or even images of physical examination findings and create a repository for endocrine images that are likely to be very important for our training community as well as our broader endocrine community. We're also exploring the options of producing some didactic uh, online video series that may be case presentations of some of these patients with more unusual conditions that we should be able to recognize. Um, and then in a range of potential assessment tools that um, help each other, whether it's for medical students, whether it's for fellows, be able to design both curricula and match that with assessments that are going to be able to help educators and do their do their job and promote endocrinology to the wider community. It's so terrific. Your level of dedication and commitment to this is really going to not only help the clinicians but the patients as well. Thank you so much for sharing all the information with us.